right. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm trying something a little different today, but I woke up and I was thinking of some video games I used to play back in the day. And I wanted to hop on because I thought this would actually be a good lesson. So, um, and the reminder of when I used to play video games, um, it actually made me happy. So I was like, oh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna come on and share this lesson. So if this is your first time joining me, my name is Tina, I'm a happiness coach, and I help business owners deal with the emotional side of business. And I do that through a change management technique. Today's going to be a little bit more of a personal, fun kind of uh, experience. And so I was thinking back in the day when I used to play the video game uh, World of Warcraft and um, WoW for short. <laughs> and I, I did not know what I was doing. It's the first time I ever played a game like that. There's no rules, there's no instructions. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Um, and, but I had a lot of fun doing it. <laughs> um, so for those of you who don't know, I played, um, a dwarf priest and, um, it took me until level 15 to realize that I had the ability to heal myself. So <laughs> and I got defensive when somebody had asked me, uh, whether or not I, uh, knew that I could because I was sitting and eating and recharging the energy and uh, they were like, you know, you can heal, you, you don't need to eat like that, right? And I was like, I got defensive. I thought he was picking on me because I was a dwarf and I was fat. <laughs> so, uh, man, craziness. It's funny how your own emotions of what goes on in your day-to-day -day life will translate over to everything you do, whether you're playing a video game, whether you're in business, it doesn't really matter. So that's the first kind of lesson of if you don't deal with your emotions and the things that have hurt you in life, then you will carry that over to other things that you do. And until you start to do that inner work and start to figure out where does this come from? Why do I feel this way? It will have control over you. So what had happened? I. I can't remember what level I was at, but it was still like a really low level. Like it was maybe 10, 11, <laughs> something like that. So, um, and I was in Iron Forge and Iron Forge was the big city where you could go to the auction house, you could pick up your mail, you could store your items that you'd won um, while you were questing and stuff like that. And so, um, what ended up happening is while we were there and I was on, um, uh, I can't remember the name of the type of server, but it was a server where, you, you know, you can't kill other players, right? So, um, but you had the enemy, you had two sides, you had the Alliance and the Horde and the Horde, they ended up attacking iron forge and everybody was all running the server was blowing up the messages were like hey the hordes here the hordes here and um i was in iron forge i'm level 10 and they're like these i think the highest level at the time was level 70 they were level 70 and they were attacking iron forge and all the um npc guards were trying to kill them and all the players um in the area were trying to kill these horde players um, because those are the only two that could attack each other, right? And so the horde was in Iron Forge, and I was in there. I was like jumping in, like, "Hey, you guys aren't supposed to be here." Kind of, we were having fun. And I'm level ten. I got my like little wand, and I'm like trying to fire at these <laughs> horde players. And of course, I'm getting like ganked, and then it's a long run back from the graveyard back into your body, and so. <laughs> so I was getting wiped out over and over and over again, but I'm a little bit on the stubborn side. <laughs> so I will continue even though it, to everybody else, it's obvious that there is no point in continuing. What you can't do anything, you can't even scratch them. They're too high level. You're only level 10. You can't do any of that kind of stuff. And I woke up this morning thinking of that and I'm like, what is the significance of thinking of that? 
particular instance. And while I remember um, Steve was getting frustrated with me and he's like, why, why are you bothering? Like, why are you bothering with this? You can't do anything. And I'm like, yeah, I make a difference. And that's the thing is you need to have this belief that you make a difference, even though it doesn't appear that you make a difference. And here's why. Although I did not have the ability to even scratch their armor or do anything significant damage wise to them, I did have the power to take their focus. And while they were bothering with me, it still depleted their energy because they had to use spells because they were high up. So they couldn't like, you know, do uh, con uh, like face to face damage, right? Like, you know, there was no, um, oh man, I'm only halfway through my coffee this morning. <laughs> There's no melee damage. So they couldn't do that. So they had to use their spell. Well, at that level, you don't really get a choice of how much energy that spell takes from you. And so the, the thing is, is it still took their focus. And while other higher level Alliance players were coming in, because Ironforge, there wasn't too many people. Most people hung out in Stormwind. Um, but Ironforge, like nobody hung out in the city, right? Unless you were a low level player and, uh, or you were coming back to get something. So, we were waiting for all the higher level Alliance players to come and get rid of the horde out of the, the city, right? And so while we were doing that, it's like while those players were still focused on me, a lowly level 10, it still depleted their energy. It still took their time, their energy away from them. And long enough for the other players to come in board, on board to do something about it. Now, being one, it's not a big deal, but it's just like zombies. One zombie is not a big deal. You can kind of get away from them, but if you have a whole bunch of them, that becomes a problem and that will end up being an energy suck on you. So how does this apply to entrepreneurship? One person, when you're small in your business, one person taking away your energy being that little nuisance because <laughs> I was just being a little nuisance but I was being a little nuisance and it was taking that player's energy and so one person doing that it's not a big deal you might have fun with it you might enjoy giving that person a zot wiping them off the face of the earth kind of thing um, whatever it is but if you have a bunch of them and as you grow your business and you still be, continue that behavior, it's gonna drain you of all of your energy. It's gonna rob you of your focus and you're not gonna be able to focus on the things that matter in your business. And this can happen so easily with uh, stuff online. So if it is, you know, somebody leaving a negative comment and you end up focusing all on that negative comment, it's one little comment and instead of focusing on all the stuff that you're doing right in your business, it can really rob you of your energy. So while you have one little shit being a pain in the ass to you, drawing all of your energy, don't let that happen as you grow in your business because it will deplete you of all of your energy, especially when if you are used to doing your business um, more local more face to face it's not a big deal but when you start expanding to online and you start getting exposed to trolls <laughs> it becomes a not so happy fun game right and it becomes all of a sudden instead of being on um and and this kind of happens the same if you are um going from being an employee to being an entrepreneur. There's very different structures. It, when you're in a business, you have certain rules, certain code of conduct that people are expected to follow those rules. They, there's rules of engagement, right? Um, but it's just like being on um, a server that is a, um, 
there's a PVE and a PVP. Yeah, that's it. PVE, um, where you can't um, just fight other players and the, the town guard will end up making it impossible for you to try to fight uh, with the other players. But it's like all of a sudden being on a PVE server and then going over to a player versus player server where there's nobody that's going to stop you from being fighting with the other players. And that's kind of like the same transition from um, being either an employee or a small town local one-to-one -one, um, business owner and then you start going online. All of a sudden you went from having the safety in that structure of being um, knowing that if somebody started acting out of character, started acting out of line, they started to attack you for no reason, that the guards would come in and shut that shit down, right? Um, but it's like all of a sudden you get flipped into a player versus player world where anybody can do anything to you and you're just like, holy shit, I'm out here getting ganked. <laughs> You know, they're camping out on my corpse. I can't even get back to, you know, as I run back from the graveyard, you're standing there as a ghost looking at your body going, I can get back into my body, but that little fucker over there is just going to wipe me out again, right? And it reminds me of uh, a South Park episode where um, they were playing WoW and the same kind of thing was happening and they finally managed to get back in their body and they knew they couldn't beat those higher level players. So what they did is they went off into the forest and they killed these, they spent hours and hours and hours killing these boars that gave them the experience points that they needed so that they could level up in private. <laughs> so it, it's funny how you see these life lessons that happen in the weirdest places, right? Whether you're playing a video game, whether you're watching a silly cartoon on TV, uh, it doesn't matter if you are, if you change your focus and you focus on what it is that you can actually learn from the situation, then you will be able to gain a lot of life lessons that can help you. So, as you start to level up in your business, you're going to come across all different sorts of emotions. There's going to be things and you're only human. You will be affected by it. And maybe you can brush off one, you know, one little pissy little varmint that's trying to, you know, get under your skin and you're like, yeah, whatever. But when you start having a lot of them and they're attacking you for no reason and you went from being this human that is allowed to exist, that is allowed to be imperfect. And speaking of imperfect, this is me when I wake up. This is no makeup. I ran a brush through my hair, but it's still kind of like frizzy and everything. But this is me having my morning coffee in my nighty, sitting in my art gallery. <laughs> so, you know, I like to think back on these kind of things and I start to see little correlations of other things that are similar that have gone on in my life. So just like if you feel like you can't do something, right, you can still find ways. How can I go from feeling, which isn't a fact, a feeling of being insignificant to switching it over to what is it that I can do? What can I do to actually make a difference? I can't overpower these other guys that are out to get me. So what can I do? I'm going to go off and kill boars in the forest. <laughs> and if it takes me a hundred years to freaking do it, at least I'm still leveling up right? It's the long way to do it, but it's sometimes the only way that you can do it. And that's the difference. That is what will make you feel happier. It's not whether or not you're able to defeat, defeat the big boss. It is the journey, the progress that you are making along the way. And that has nothing to do with anybody else. That only has to do with you and are you improving? Are you leveling up? Are you getting better little by little? It doesn't matter if you still can't beat the big boss. You're not there yet. It doesn't matter. 
do what you can with what you have and then you will continue to grow and that is where you have that growth process of and sometimes it can feel like there's so many things whether and it doesn't matter what level that you're at you may look at whatever problem that you're facing and you may think to yourself there is no way this problem is too big how am i just one little person going to actually make a difference well you can make a difference in whatever way that you can today right now with the tools and the energy that you have and that's what you need to focus on what is it can i do maybe i can't fix this big problem maybe i can't change my situation maybe i can't change my circumstances but there is something that you can do today to make yourself feel happier to make yourself feel better to make yourself love your business again make yourself um, make your employees that work for you maybe they you know you're like they freaking hate me because i had to tell them they did something wrong and now i'm the big bad guy instead of being you know you everybody wants to feel like they're around people that actually like them and care about them and it doesn't feel comfortable when somebody is looking at you and going you're a fucking asshole i hate your guts <laughs> right and you're like wait what no i i just needed to i needed you to be able to to do this one thing different and it's really hard to deal with that conflict and it brings up a lot of emotion now yes as you go along you can develop a thicker skin and those little things don't bother you as much but that is a reflection of how much you've already had to endure so if you find yourself being sensitive to situations that are going on it is because you're still new to the level right and that's okay whatever level that you're at know that you're not going to stay there that you will progress forward and you will look back whatever challenges you're facing right now today there will be a point where you look back and go, fuck, I wish I just had those challenges. I wish it was just me having to deal with this, right? Those are the good old days, right? And even, and you see this in video games too, people, um, people look at the nostalgia factor, right? You know, and they talk about vanilla wow, and it's like, oh, back in the day, and there were so many challenges, it took forever, there were all these complications, uh, like when you were first, like the big thing was trying to, to get to the point where you could get a mount, where you could fly or you could ride so that you could get to places faster. But at the same time, while you can get to places faster and everything becomes limitless, what ends up happening is you get bored at that higher level of the game. And so these higher level players would often go around and fuck other junior players up just for fun, right? Just because they were bored. <coughs> Meanwhile, these lower level players are like, it takes... 10 minutes to run back to your corpse when you get killed. So when you get killed, it's a real inconvenience and you have to like run all the way back. <coughs> so while that's a real inconvenience, that is, those are your easy times. Those are your enjoyable times. So even though it doesn't feel like it, enjoy the process of what you're in right now, where you're at and focus on at this level, it's so easy to fix your problems. You just kind of like, just look at one problem and just start to take action on it. You don't have to plan, you don't have to plot, you don't have to worry about all these other things. You can just move. And that in and of itself is something really, really enjoyable. And it's like you get to fix these easier level problems. But as you go up, there's a lot more to lose. And now you have to be more careful. Now you have to be more strategic because it's not just you as a business owner that fucks up. If you fuck up, it's not just you getting wiped. It's all of your employees. It's all of your vendors. All of the, there's this interconnectedness. It's not just about you anymore as a business owner. 
And that can be a lot of stress because maybe you started out in your business going, I just want to I, I just want to make money. I don't want to be told what to do and this is what I'm going to do. And you start off and you start seeing su some success. But in order to grow, in order to get to the levels that you want, you now have to interact with other people. You now have to bring on other people into your business. And a lot of business owners are usually not prepared for that change in dynamic of, oh, it's not just me anymore, right? Now I have to start taking care of these other people. And if I fail, it's not just the customers that are gonna be pissed off at me, it's these other people that had their livelihood dependent on me to do a good job. And so what started out as I just wanted freedom, I just wanted um, all of this extra money and all of this kind of stuff. There is a cost. The hidden cost is you have a huge amount of responsibility. And if you screw up, it's other people's lives that are on the line, not just yours. And so if you don't want that kind of responsibility, then stay as an employee. You will have a whole lot more freedom. You'll have a whole lot more time to just go play video games after you finish work. You can be pissed off at your boss and it doesn't matter, it's their fault, blah, blah, blah. You don't get that luxury. That's the trade-off. You don't get that luxury as a business owner to be able to do that. Now, you can maybe be a freelancer and kind of do like a freelancer or a consultant, you can do a bit of work. You don't have the rules or restrictions of, um, of being uh, an, an actual employee that you have to follow along with the, you know, the social dynamics of being in that company, right? Because every company has got certain so uh, social dynamics, they've got a certain culture, and um, and even that will change as the company grows, right? If you have a company that is more junior, then you're going to need people that are like, you know, the hunter gatherers kind of thing, right? They're going to go out there. They're going to make the kills. They're going to bring them back. They're going to, you know, they're really resourceful. They don't like being told what to do. You just let them go and they do their thing, right? And, but as you start to grow in your business, you need to start implementing some structures. You need to start implementing some different ways of behaving that you can't just cowboy it, right? As you start putting in systems, and i have done this lots of times, it's like, you know, you implement a system, a system in and of itself is applying structure, applying ways of behaving right that you have to follow these set rules well those people that you brought on board that loved and thrived in the kind of environment that was cowboying it that they were you know they loved operating in no rules no structure they thrived in that kind of environment they are not going to do so well as you transition from growing your business to now you are in a place where you have to start following these systems. You have to start following these rules. Well, those people that helped you get to that point, they're going to be resistant to that. Now, some will be able to make the transition and still continue to grow with you. A lot of them will not. And so you will lose people and that will make you feel like, oh, what am I doing wrong? It's like they helped me build this business and now you're losing friends because you're now at a different level. You're now growing to a certain um, aspect. And it's no different like being in the video game. Wow, once you get your mount, you're used to riding. Like you're, you're not gonna walk that whole distance anymore. You're like, screw this, I'm getting on my mount and I'm going. And so this is why it's so important that when you're, whoever you're with, that you grow with them, that you are not still walking that path when somebody else has hopped on a horse and that they're able to run and they're able to go. And it gets even worse when they get their flying mount. <laughs> they, can, they can go and do all kinds of things that you can't do and you feel left behind. So whether you're the one feeling left behind or you're the business owner that has to grow to a new level and you have to leave other people behind to do that, there are a lot of emotions that come up and these are the kinds of things that I help with.
I help with being able to deal with those and process those emotions. So um, you're going to be seeing some new things coming up for me. So not only am I doing my artwork, which is very beneficial for me, uh, I love the process. It's a very healing thing. Um, I do have some workshops coming up where I am going to be doing a, a dinner and um, teaching you guys how to do a paint pour. So if that's something that you're interested in, uh, check out my REM Lab Studios. Uh, there's a flyer. There's also some stuff on my page. If you are in the Wasaga Beach, uh, Ontario, Canada uh, area, come have some dinner. I've got some upscale menu items. There's going to be a co welcome cocktail, uh, an appetizer, main meal, and um, a dessert. Uh, this is all stuff I'm told that I'm a pretty good cook, so <laughs> uh, please come out. I'm not a restaurant, so there's only five spaces limited. I've got October 23rd and October 30th. It's $100. Just show up. I'll provide everything for you. We're going to have a great night, 7 p.m. till 10 p.m. Um, so those two nights. And if this is successful, I may expand this and do an online version. Obviously, I can't do the dinner piece, but um, maybe we can do a paint pour together and I will show you how to do that. Um, so that is that aspect of the business. And then there's another piece that I am doing with the happiness coaching. I will be evolving that piece out. Um, and so I'll be making some changes. I'm not ready to quite announce them just yet, but I wanted to come on here and just share that analogy of how, you know, video games, entrepreneurship, and um, happiness all tie together. They're all different levels of business and how you can see that these things apply, right? You know, so you can get um, really cool lessons if you are looking for them, if you are focused on them. So you definitely want to be able to um, be in the right mindset, allow, thank you, Melissa, you love my paintings, thanks. <laughs> um, be in the right mindset so that you can allow others to help you, support you, and grow with you. And when you, because when you are running your own business, it can feel like you're all alone, you are all by yourself, and you're out there getting ganked, right? Whether it's the, the business owner down the street that has a similar business to you, and they're doing stuff maybe, you know, to sabotage your business or to block you from being able to grow or all kinds of other stuff. It feels like you went from being on a safe, secure PVE player or an employee kind of role to all of a sudden it's a free for all and anybody can get you at any time. So being surrounded by a community of people that does actually care for you, that does actually uh, support you and help you grow will allow you to feel much happier and when you feel happier you will be instead of in that constant state of fight or flight of like oh shit everybody's out to get me maybe I shouldn't do this maybe I should just close my business down and go back to a safe secure nine to five job which as that company grows they may or may not keep you on board um, they may allow you to stay on for a certain period of their growth, but when they hit a certain structure, um, they may cut those ties and you're left to be on your own. So if you are a business owner, you're going to want to try to surround yourself with people that will help make you happy so that you can get out of that fight or flight mode and you can get into the more creative problem solving mode where you can start to look at the challenges that you're facing and instead of going, this is too hard, this is impossible, I can't do this, to having a bunch of people around you going, no, how can we do this? How can you fix this? How can we change this? Because all problems are solvable. You may not have the right tools, you may not have the right resources, you may not have the right skills in order to be able to do that right now today, but you can find a way to do it, even if the problem 
seems impossible. So if you're in that stage where you're feeling insignificant, I would encourage you to stick around, follow my uh, YouTube channel, which is Coach T2B 125. Um, you can also join my Facebook group, which is The Happiness Coach, and um, you will get trainings there. I will keep you posted on the things that are gonna be um, changing as we go along here. And um, I will be offering a paid coaching mentorship where you can ask more questions. So it's not just me talking and kind of giving you insight and guidance. We can now switch this over to a way that you can ask questions about your business, what's going on with you, um, and I can help give you that guidance because I don't have the same emotions attached to your business as you do. So that in and of itself allows me to have some clarity. I'm not emotionally invested. You don't have to worry about whether or not I think that you're doing a good job. And I can cheer you on and help encourage you to get you to that next level because you are the one with the skill set. You are the one with the vision. You are the one with the knowledge that you need in order to grow your business. And um, sometimes all you just need is to know that there's one person in your corner that has your back to help you grow. And that will allow you to hit new levels. That will build the belief within you to hit new levels, right? So. With that, guys, that is my morning coffee ramble, and I'm almost out here, so it's time to refill, and with that, I'm going to wrap it up, and if you enjoyed this, uh, comment below, um, share it with friends, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. More coffee. Yes, definitely more coffee.